So I don't have to slice them really fine, I'm just roughly slice them. And uh, I have... Just, uh, so just a tiny drop of oil. I don't really use much butter, I use more uh, olive oil and I use very uh, little fat. You know. Usually it makes noise. Uh, basically, uh, just going to uh, dice some celery and some carrot. The last time I was here, actually, I cut my hand. So hopefully it's not going to cut my hand today. So it's very fine dice. Yeah. Well, for instance, is that some of the stuff is visual, but most of the stuff and all of the stuff is about taste. You know. So if it's about taste, then what you're doing is you're cooking for what I think is try to do is actually cook for the blind, because the blind can't see; they can only smell. You know. So this you can put in the machine and do it, you know, by Robocoop or something like this. Just put it in. And, but, you know, so what I'm going to do is just going to put uh, this in here and then I'm going to dice the uh, shallots. shallots. Yeah, yeah, he's dicing the shallots now. So what I have, the chives to just put in here. So just put a little squeeze of lemon in. Just a little, okay, see, just boom, stop. Like that, yeah, just mix. Right, and I'm just going to place it in the fridge for a few minutes, okay? So the carrots are going to take a little longer, so put the carrots in here first. A little bit of sauce. Salt, that's salt. So I put in my uh, celery, okay? So celery, gonna blanch my celery, all right? Okay, so that's warm now, so I'm gonna put in my sea urchin. So what I did was, yeah, crushed it down, reduced it by half, then passed it through a muslin cloth, okay? And then what I did is I put in uh, seasoning, what I put into it was uh, one bay leaf, right? So I just mixed this with a um, chai powder, right? A little bit of salt, just a little. So I have a squidding stock, right? Put it in here, like this. I'm just going to strain it. And that's the sea urchin sauce. That's the sea urchin sauce, yeah. Which is just sea urchin shell uh, juice. Which is the juice, yeah, the sea urchin shell the juice. The cream. Cream, salt, pepper, bay leaf, lemon salt juice. And, yeah. Yeah. Salt and pepper, yeah. bay leaf, yeah. and lemon so juice. Just what I did is I put some salmon eggs on the plate. Okay. So what it's going to do is I put some caviar. Right? Okay, so I have the scallops here. Right, so what I'm actually just going to do with scallops is going to season them with salt and pepper. Okay. I'm not cooking. I'm just using it for that for seasoning. Okay. Thank you very much. Now I have to stop the sauce. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little still water, okay? Just a drop of still water because I have to make sure that it's not going to be too strong. So what I'm doing is olive oil. I did put some salt and pepper here, okay? So just olive oil, see? Turn it over. Oh, you can't see, okay? So turn it over, okay? Like that. So the shell is here. The sea urchin is here. And what I'm going to see, see I'm going to put a little uh, lemon juice here yeah? on the urchin, okay? And the sea urchin is sitting on a bed of diced uh, yep. carrot and onion. Here for roughly, hopefully, if the timing is correct, for less than a minute, yeah? Put the sauce in here. See? Yeah? Everybody can see? Beautiful colour, yeah? So my sauce needs a little lemon juice, yeah? This off, very gently, all right? So you can see the way it sits, okay? So I have to make sure. So that's just the fresh so uh, sugar snap peas, the but, yeah. shallots and the chives. Yeah. With so we'll olive do. oil and sea uh -huh. salt and, yeah. so, and pepper. Yeah, and then look, it is. Okay, and then the same time, what I do is Okay, so that's it, yeah. It's very simple. 
cream. Because you know? remember the color was quite dark, was it? Okay. So I uh, just need some hot water, hot water, please. Yeah, as quickly as possible. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. And then we we'll put the in here. Right. And then while I'm waiting, I can do it like this. Okay. And then just pour some water in here. Okay. Thank you.